All right, we are going to the field. I'm going to run the first beans through. Um, we don't know what the moisture is going to be, so this is kind of a test run for us just to see what things look like and see if we can even cut. There's some green spots out in there, but we're going to go up here and we're going to try a few, see what happens. Got some greeners coming out here. 2019 harvest. Go out here and walk through the field here. See what we see on the ground. Some of these beans are potted close to the ground, so there could be some that the cutter bar cuts through. What I mean by that is when you look down here like this. They could be right along the road. Actually not seeing any beans right now on the ground. If we have beans on the ground, that's bad. They need to be going into the tank on the combine. See, it looks like we're Cutting to a very few of them. See what I mean when I say cutting through them? We left these because they're actually lower than the cutter bar goes. There's the one right there. Soybean. We're going to go over here on the other side because he's going to fire it up. It's going to blow dust out. And we really don't want to be behind that thing when it's running. We'll get over here. That way he can see that we are completely out of his way. He doesn't have to worry about us. And then Dad's coming in right now with the seed tender. And we'll weigh a sample so we can see what the uh, so we can see while the close the monitor is. That way we can get an average of what we're doing here. So remember this is the first strip that we're doing. So there's all kinds of times where there could be abrupt stops, uh, settings might need to be adjusted, lots of times they'll stop and make adjustments, and we want to do everything we can to get as many of these in the, in the bin as we can, because if they're laying out here on the ground, that's just profit to cloth. So he's going to go on down here, he's going to turn around a little bit, come back, and then we're going to weigh, weigh a bin weigh a parcel bin full to see how close the monitor is with the actual weight. Okay, here comes John. The second pass, this is where we just went out to try it. He's going to come up and we're going to dump it into our seed tender. This seed tender is an Unverfirth uh, 3750 seed runner. Alright, Dad's up here at the front. He's going to set the, the uh, scale back to zero. And then John's going to turn on the unload auger and we're going to put these soybeans 
into the cart here to weigh them. We are going to go get the grain cart out and we're going to see if we can get this conveyor on this tender up over top of my grain cart. I do not know if it'll go high enough, but it, we would like to do that so we can check the scale in the grain cart because I think it's off some. But so we're going to go get it out, back it out, take it over there and try to get it underneath the conveyor. try to get the top of this grain card underneath the conveyor on the seed tender. It might go, but I just don't know. We'll see here shortly. That's what we won't mind to say. 9880. We'll see how far off it is. Okay, so what we're doing here is this hopper here is that sitting on scales and we weighed it and now we're going to put it into the grain cart here just to see how close the grain cart scale is. As you can see, there's some green ones in there and some pods in there and such like that. It's just kind of going to be one of those years where it's not going to be perfect conditions to harvest. But we are getting all of them and it says they are dry. So these green ones that are in here, they're not going to hurt anything. They'll just dry out because all the other ones are so much drier than they are. What Dad's doing now is he's getting samples so we can check the moisture on it. It has to weigh out 250 grams here of soybeans and then we'll put it in a little machine that does the moisture, checks the moisture on it. We'll see what my scale says now. Ten thousand one hundred and eighty. All right, we are putting a known weight into the, the grain cart. This is going to be the third time we've checked it, and I've changed a couple numbers, so we're trying to get to ninety-two eighty on the grain cart. So we'll see what we get here on this one. Alright, I've pushed buttons several different times and been having trouble getting it to where I want it. The problem is I pushed the wrong button. There's a start stop button you gotta push to move the digit to the different move to the different digit. 
and then you use the field button to change the digit. And of course, I'll accept it several different times. And it appears we're going to be right back to where we were before. So they're empty. And I want 92.80 and we've got 94.60. Alright, we're going to take what we have here and we're going to put it in the truck. Split it up a little bit here between the two hoppers. Jump out and hit the button here. Harvest has started. Our first 30,000 pounds, 25-30,000 pounds we've done. Alright, we've loaded the first load of beans and I've got to leave. You do a couple things. So, leave. the beans are averaging right around 13% moisture, which is right about where we want them to be. So, I don't know if we're going to haul them to town or what we're going to do, but I guess we'll find out first thing in the morning. I got to go do a couple things, so we're going to sign it off here. Appreciate everybody for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.